What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to review the season finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, a episode that went by very quickly to try to do a lot of stuff all in a in, insanely, I would say, short amount of time. This was uh, over the last several episodes. You know, they, they started a little shorter on length. They got a little bit longer, and then this last episode decided to keep it a little bit short. So, you know, maybe that doesn't start off the most positive. What I will say, to just make sure everybody's aware, is I did like this episode. I thought this was a solid episode. I do not think at all, or by a mile, this was like the best episode of the season. I don't. I don't think this was the worst. I think this was probably right in that middle tier. It definitely did do some big things. It had emotion. It had, um, I would say, stakes, but it honestly didn't feel all that much like it had stakes. I think where they ended episode five to where they picked up here, kind of, now I would, I watched Mortal Kombat literally right, so I like, I watched Mortal Kombat, like at a 30 minute break, and then I watched Falcon and Winter Soldier. So maybe like I was focusing on the universe and I was still into Mortal Kombat, but like, I just didn't feel like it, it, uh, it picked up exactly where maybe it should have. And I don't have any, you know, grand idea of where it should have picked up, but it was like, it just felt kind of odd coming from fine. I know they set up basically the premise of the beginning of six in the end of five. I just didn't really feel like it flowed very well. And that could just absolutely be me. But again, this had a, a couple big things. Obviously it had, uh, the, the conclusion, I guess, of Carly. And we'll just talk about spoilers. Let's be honest. People have probably seen it by now. It had the conclusion of Carly in terms of her death. Um, it had, it had fights. It had, uh, everybody kind of do a one V one or, and again, I'm t kind of talking moral combat talk here. One V one, or sometimes it was one V like in, in terms of Walker's point of view, it was one versus like three to four. Okay. It, I mean, the, the show is high budget. It feels very, uh, uh, like it, it feels very big. Okay. And, and, in a good way, in a good way. Um, I love Falcon's suit. I think he, he looks uh, he looks amazing. Um, he didn't use the shield nearly enough. I think he forgot he had it on his back for like 85% of the time, especially in the very beginning when he was fighting the guy in the building. He just didn't use the shield until he did. And the guy threw a chair and the shield fell. And it was like, oh, we have to not use the shield anymore again. So like that, that was a little odd. But you know, it resolved quite a few things. I think it did a decent enough job wrapping it up. I just, I can't help, you know, I, I can say positives, and overall, I, I'm, I'm telling you, like, this is brutally honest, I did like this episode. I do think it was a solid episode, but I just feel like they could have actually had more time, which is odd, because episode five, I don't think I did a review for episode five, but episode five had big pacing issues. There was a lot to love, including the beginning of episode five, which I thought was absolutely incredible, but then they did a lot of downtime, like where they fixed the boat for like 30 days, it felt like. It felt like they were building like like Noah's Ark, it's kind of what it felt like, but they're, so they're actually building a boat. Um, but in like that helped character development, it definitely helped Bucky and Sam's relationship, but it literally felt like it dragged, like like quite a bit. It was dragging quite a bit. So it's kind of odd that like that episode, I feel like you could have trimmed 10 minutes, and I feel like you could add those 10 minutes to this episode, and then maybe people would say, that's pretty hypocritical, though, because you don't, you didn't like that long episode, but you do like, or you would have preferred it here. So, like, I get it doesn't sound perfect. I just feel like, especially towards the end, like, with Bucky telling, uh, telling the guy about his son, I actually would have liked to see, like, I get how they did it. I get why they did it. I, I, it still felt, like, emotional, don't get me wrong. But I feel like if they added, a, like, a minute and a half, and they actually had him tell the story a little bit. And we saw a little, like, because the reaction from the, you know, from the father was pretty good. But I feel like that could have been a scene where they could have really focused in, again, given it, like, a solid one to two minutes where they just, you don't tell everything. It's a, mo it's a movie, it's a TV show. In these things, you don't, you don't literally recap the entire thing, right? You kind of give an abridged version. But, like, what we heard was not not a lot. It was very, very little, and it didn't actually sound all that good, and they kind of just leave it on, like, does the man hate him? Why wouldn't the man call the cops on him? Because the guy is old. He doesn't really know too much about what's going on. A person just admitted to murdering his son in cold blood. We don't know what he told him, but, like, if that's all he said, wouldn't the man call the police on, on Bucky, right? So, like... I feel like it, now again, like it's a it's a it's a comic booky you know TV show. Obviously, it's not going to happen. But I feel like they could have just added a little bit more there. Um, the Walker thing, how ending him. You know, I I I like him. You know, kind of turning the page a little bit. I think that was way too quick. I get that it could have like he 
he did break in a very like split second thing, right? He was he was very like messed up in the head, but when he literally decided to just be awful, it was literally a split second, you know, he flicked the light switch in his head and all of a sudden he was bad. And you could argue that this episode did the opposite where he flipped the switch randomly, not I guess randomly, but he flipped it at a time and it was just one flip of one switch and all of a sudden he was good again. And I just felt like there maybe could have been a little bit more you know what I mean? To, like, justify that because he's, like, patting Bucky on the back. He's, like, making a joke about Lincoln. Like, he's, like, it. Like it's, like, oh, we're, we're going to forget all this stuff we did. Because, again, there was, like, a slow and deliberate downfall of Walker. And you could see he had mental problems and all that stuff throughout, like, several episodes. So you saw how he got there to then. So, like, I, I, my hand. You can't see my hand because I don't show my face, right? But, like, it's a graph and it's going down. Like it's a, it's a, it's a gentle, it's a gentle low. Okay. And then all of a sudden it shoots up, like literally straight up. And I don't really think that that's believable. Like I, I guess I like him in this episode because he's a good guy, but like he's, he literally just becomes a good guy. There's really no reason for it. Does that make sense? So again, I don't think that was bad. Like I liked seeing him like that. I liked Bucky doing that. I liked Sam's speech to the senator and to you know the treasury person, all that stuff. Like that was pretty good. And that was actually it's almost like they wanted to give that four or five minutes of time, and then everything else gets like half the time it probably should. Even like Sharon didn't get actually just in the entire series uh, in general, she didn't get much at all. Obviously, maybe setting up future things, but I feel like you could have maybe shaved some stuff off of other stuff, put it into things that maybe needed it more. I just felt like the episode was kind of all over the place in terms of pacing. Not really in terms of like edits, like the fighting was solid and there was a, like they were trying to do something. There was a very specific, I guess, goal to it, but it just felt like it went very quickly. And, uh, you know, I guess that could be debatable. I guess that can be like, oh, it doesn't, ha you know, going fast isn't uh, necessarily a bad thing. Like for Mortal Kombat, I would prefer the slow parts went fast so we could get to the combat stuff or like the fighting stuff. And then that could maybe go a little bit slower. But Falcon and Winter Soldier actually had the reverse problem where they needed to slow down a little bit. They were going too fast throughout the entire episode. And I just felt like there, there would be times where a little bit extra camera time could have been it could have helped a character development it could have helped a moment could have helped like one scene like specifically right again i don't think that made it a terrible episode i don't think it made it a terrible season finale it was definitely messy i would agree with that i would call it messy i would call it uh the pacing was very very bad i'd, I'd even say the word bad but i think the episode overall was solid I think the show definitely after, I'd say episode one and two was pretty darn weak. But after that, three on, three, four, five, five had some problems. It was a it was a show that was trying to do a lot. Now I'm trying to like review the entire series, right? It was a show that was trying to do a lot. It had a lot of really amazing moments and had a lot of high highs. And then I think they, obviously they were trying to do a lot of other stuff with it. And sometimes slowing it down helped. Sometimes slowing it down hurt it, like in episode five. And then in this one, they're like, okay, well, we did all the slow stuff last episode, so now we just have to go fast. And it's like, no, actually, you should have maybe reversed it. This episode should have actually been a little bit slower. So I did like it. I'm happy about it. Um, I would take more if they want to give a season two. That'd be completely cool. If this is it, uh, I honestly, it was, a, it was a very solid thing that happened. I really do believe that. So let me know, guys, in the comments below. What do you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And I do a brand new video every single day on this channel. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.